Hello YouTube and all adult fans of Lego, Jarve Bricks here. So I'm just uh, going to go over this mock that I've been doing over the last few weeks with lockdown being rampant. I've been able to get quite a bit done. It's um, on six 32 by 32 base plates. I will try to show you as much as I can from this position, uh, but to show you some of the ones on the back, it will be easier if I just uh, take them out, put them on the desk and show you there. So let me get into the ones that I can see from here for now. So first of all, we've got the bike shop selling. Yes, you're correct. Bikes. Uh, made it so it's got a little sign above, which is just a floating bike. And then the building is just a simple design. And just go around to have a look at the food court. So here's the um, supermarket or the food market as the stickers show. This is from um, a, a Lego Friends set, um, which is about two years ago. I haven't got the number to hand, but it's um, a lot of the internal workings of the um, supermarket were from that with all of the stands and things. Um, the color scheme as well is from that, that, that as well. And um, I got some extra bits of that color from the um, Easter egg, which was free. So I got those a little bit. I got three Easter eggs actually because of the stuff that I bought from the Lego shop. So I was able to use those colors in making the base and the top and um, giving it a colored theme as most supermarkets do. Uh, along the top, I've got the pizza shop which I made a, a 3d pizza if it looks like a pizza hopefully it does uh, again using the stickers from the um, sticker back that got last year and then people are just sitting enjoying their meals I like the little touches like the menu that they've got there which again was in the sticker pack the sticker pack was um, really handy um, but the sticker quality is not great. You, know, you think this one here is quite transparent and these are quite transparent. This is from the same pack, but that's transparent and they aren't. So it, it depends. You have to put it on certain backgrounds, which I think limits it. Um, they didn't have to do that. I'll highlight it when I get to the Lego store with uh, what I mean by that. Um, but for now, let's move on. So here the, um, the signage continues and the offers on the supermarket down here. And you've got the um, market fruit and veg shop here. With, again, the stickers are from the sticker pack. And then you've got in that corner there, you've got the um, newsstand. And on the top, the uh, pizza shop continues there with all of the signs and menus which people are enjoying again stickers from the sticker pack and then um, elements of the design for the top of the building there um, were, are from the remnants of the Grand Emporium you might recognize the design at the top there so uh, Grand Emporium doesn't exist in my city anymore but I like that design and the color scheme so I've just put that top floor there is just uh, from that and then the uh, palace cinema I know I've said before that everything in my city is my own creation uh, the palace cin cinema although I love the signage I wanted to make it slightly different so I just changed it so that it was uh, horizontal instead of vertical um, I did keep the sign above the doorway the same and I changed the color of the doors to white from uh, British Racing Green I don't really know what color it is but um, the signs on the side on the in the front there again are from the original Palace Cinema but everything else isn't and as I was building it I was starting to put windows in and I was thinking who has windows in a cinema they were always pitch black so I thought I'm gonna make it just white at the top and um, I got a ton of um, 
one by two scarlet um, flats because the tiles I can't think what they're called the flat ones so I was able to use all of them just to make the a uh, bit of a feature there just having the, the stripes going through it and then we come to the donut shop where everybody is sitting enjoying actually I don't think anybody's eating a donut they're eating ice cream cookies and drinks so although there's a giant donut it doesn't turn out that it is a donut shop it's a cookie ice cream and drinks shop although the sign does say city coffee I don't know why there is a donut there actually because that was from the same building oh well um, the little bunny rabbit that came with free from a, one of the Lego sets but I thought that'd be um, a nice little gimmick outside the toy shop you sometimes get it when like big uh, chains open new shops they'll have a big giant something outside as a gimmick to attract people so thought well that's what that can be so moving to the toy shop we've got our little boy outside who's just got a balloon and a cookie from the toy shop because toy shops also sell cookies and um, the stickers from the sticker pack in the window except for this one this one was with um, the whatever that set was called that escapes my mind the box is in here somewhere and I can't find it um, and I've just put loads of balloons just uh, hang, hanging off um, various ones so some of the balloons came with the set uh, such as that one that's why it's a little bit smaller all the others they came from um, Joker's escape from the Lego Batman movie uh, so I just used them on that pole there uh, you notice those two are yellow because I couldn't find any other white ones but I didn't have enough yellow ones either to make them all yellow so a little bit of a mix and match but that's okay you probably wouldn't have noticed it if I hadn't said so let's move round to the pharmacy where things get a little bit tight so you'll have to bear with me so first of all I thought I'd show you the building from the top up here um, with this build, I know I've said previously I wanted it to look a little bit Tudor style, so uh, that's why it looks the way it is. And then um, moving down, I've just made this little stand out of Lego, of course. Um, so I've just got some um, signs there just to uh, direct people so about what's going on in the city. Thought so it's, otherwise it would just be. A bare wall so I just thought I may as well put something there so there's a, a bit of signage and then moving over as I knock everything over oh, let's try to start this thing so like I said in previous videos I wanted the top floor to be a bit of a Tudor style um, and then at the bottom here we've got the chemist uh, that's uh, full of little chemistry things or pharmacy, whatever you want to call it. And then I've just got a sign there just because the wall was just one colour, so I thought I may as well show the city what's going on. And uh, if anyone wants to see those signs. And now for the rest of it, I'm going to have to get out, so uh, bear with me. So here it is as an overview. And then I want to just uh, now look at it in a little bit more detail. So firstly we have the burger shop using the creator set, the deli, um, utilising the burger shaped burger um, and the little stands uh, at the bottom here. And then this sticker is from the sticker set that I keep mentioning. And then um, going around here, just got a bit of a, a sitting area um, with the, uh, the cup on the side there, which is from last year's creator set. Names are just escaping me. There's a pet shop and a few other things. And cafe obviously is one of them with the modern apartment on the top. So that's just utilizing that uh, cup feature there. 
and then moving it around to the Apple shop. I know I said on um, previous um, videos that um, I wanted to change the last one because it had the deep red scarlet brick with the black front and I thought it was just too much dark color so I wanted to have an, a lighter color at the back so that's why I've changed that um, and I just wanted it to uh, have a bit more of a modern feel at the bottom um, and then that was just the sticker I got free with my iPhone. Um, very simple at the top there the windows is a typical design for this type of building and then I've just done a flight of stairs which is to replicate going up to an apartment at the top here uh, with a little bit of a balcony there there's uh, no walls on the side to save bricks so uh, that's it my apple shop burger shop corner So this is my least favorite building, the cafe. Um, I just wanted to use these. I've got loads of four by one that I filled a bucket full on the pick a brick wall and I uh, just wasn't really getting a chance to use them. So I did and um, I didn't really like it. Now this is in the middle here is from the um, Jurassic World uh, Beechwood Manor which I got two of um, but I just think it looks a bit pants I thought it looked pants in the original uh, Lockwood Manor building so I don't even know why I put it in this but I've done it um, don't really like it at all I, I love the bit behind here um, which down, down at the bottom, sorry, um, I, I, I really like that. I like this design of the, the pillars each side, which incidentally from, what, about a minute ago, you'd see these were black, and that was because I didn't have enough white ones, but um, along with my dismantling of other mocks, I found more white ones, I was able to replace them all, so I thought I'd do it now while it's here, um, and I think it looks better with white pillars than um, with the it was just these three grid sections that were black and I didn't think it looked very good but um, I like the uh, the ground floor with um, the cafe details on the inside it's not completely detailed on the inside because as I, like I said I'm not putting walls on the side so um, for example coming around here this is the back of the cinema so here you've got the cinema bits and the screen in the background over here and um, so and then you know that just is the cinema I got some uh, because I thought it's an old building I got some uh, where are they at the top right at the top there you can see some discolored um, Lego bricks so that was from a batch that I bought off eBay my one and only purchase of Lego bricks from eBay because they were so discolored um, I did have them on my terraced house which I've dismantled um, I put them on the back so you can see them but I thought you know these type of cinemas they're generally old so they do discolor so I thought well, I'll just shove them in there it might give it a bit of effect um, but I will be rebuilding this in the future this is my least favorite one so this will be changing um, but for now it's staying as it is because I can't be bothered rebuilding it all and I worry that if I start to dismantle the front there that the cinema is going to be weakened and might just collapse so for now it's just staying as it is over to the next one so this is my Lego store uh, this is just a, a generic shop no details no sign or anything like that uh, just to fill up the gap but um, my Lego shop it was based on um, Leicester Square. So let me just shove a video of what, a, a, a photograph of Leicester Square. So I was just trying to copy that. And you've got um, on this side the white strips which seem to go down that side and I've just added the um, Lego sticker there as well and on this side mainly the black feature there 
and um, I was able to use these pillars from the brick bank uh, which makes it look like the um, top half of it I know the, uh, the actual one in Leicester Square to, uh, to scale you know this black part here would be like up here um, and then you know it would be sky high another two floors or so is massive um, but it's not an exact replica is it you know this feature here was just a little um, bird or sparrow or s s uh, swallow or something flying so I've just put um, a satellite dish back to front with a spot on it a stud just to show it you've got the stud wall there behind that sticker which I'll come back to in a second you've got the um, uh, Eiffel Tower made out of bricks which came from the um, assembly square can you see let me get the light there you go you got some um, big chicks from the uh, Easter egg pack which I just put at the back there and then um, got loads of uh, the boxes with a, a built Lego truck at the bottom and just loads of these on the walls which is surprising how many I've got of them they come with different things quite regularly but going back to the stickers this one I don't know what that was from but it's from a set in the last 12 months that I saved the sticker from and um, this is from the sticker pack extra sticker pack from last year this one this one um, and you can see that it's slightly transparent look at the the white there that is white in the actual sticker um, but when you put it with a like, yellow background the white almost turns to yellow because of its transparency yet this one look at it it's beautiful brilliant bright colors same with that one there I don't know what that was from but I had it saved um, and the stickers look great on that side but the one that came out last year they just aren't as good so um, Lego I love you but get your stickers sorted and that's it and there's the uh, people queuing outside waiting so let's put it back in its new home okay so that's it it's not 100% finished a few things that I want to be doing next is to be putting some aircon units and a bit more details on the roof as it's a little bit plain I started putting one down and um, so I just want to fill them up get a bit more detail on that and then the the white lamppost stands that come with modulars so I've got those stacked up there I need to figure out how they're going to be going along and uh, some of the uh, studs which uh, sorry the, the jumper plates such as them um, I need to move them around as they were positioned in places for the modules as they were before so I uh, just need to take the road plates out and move them give them a bit of a jiggle and then over this side that road's a bit bad needs some more traffic and people up there and that's that side so really pleased with how this little um, square block turned out um, apart from that cafe but it'll be all right for now but that will be changing I've just ordered um, because it was dead cheap on Amazon the um, hidden side lighthouse I actually need a lighthouse because I got that one but um, see what it looks like it looks like it's got some interesting pieces to uh, some like rock features so we'll see if we can make this little area a bit better uh, using that I accidentally lent on my uh, museum and this roof fell through so I need to fix that other than that nothing's changed I'm going to be getting down to um, filling in these gaps I did get around to rebuilding um, that townhouse, uh, townhouse so that's back to normal um, for, I need to fill up some of the gaps now and then I need to make this little dock 
a bit busier so I've got studs in place to do it uh, so I just need to get on with that and that's it thank you for watching apologize this is a long one but it was a quite a, a big mark that I made so thank you for watching and if you've stuck it out to the end I appreciate it and uh, any comments or anything like that all that jazz please uh, put in the comments and as they all help me to uh, grow the city but if you um, stopped watching then you will not be listening to this part anyway so thanks again and goodbye <laughs>